Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do another DIY with what you've got kind of video so what I want to do is here at the back I'm gonna quickly show you here at the back area I don't have any light at night and also this corner is also dark I only have a floodlight which is situated over there and that light is not effective so what I want to do is I'm gonna take that light and mount it to this corner and put another floodlight over there so that I can have light in that area at night permanently and then motion sensor on this side whenever something is moving here with a couple of challenges number one my chuck key on my, on my drilling uh, on my drill is lost I don't know what happened to it I brought uh, I bought a brand new one and now it's missing so that's our first challenge secondly I don't have enough electrical cable to make it work so there's another challenge so uh, let's see what we can do hi guys subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads lastly feel free to comment show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to remove this unit. As you can see, the sensor at the top has been damaged due to the door. The light is too low and every time you open the door, it bumps the globe so it bumps the light. So the light on this side is already not working. So uh, I'm going to take that off. Uh, but first I have to find a ladder that's long enough to fit here since the steps are in the way of doing anything functional. With the light off and the wires exposed, I am now going to proceed to remove the connections and then clean this unit in front and also see if I can repair the sensor screen. As you guys can see, the sensor cover has been badly bent and damaged, so I'm just trying to bend it back into shape. And then I will proceed to put it back the way it was. There we go, doesn't this look better? Now it's clean, everything is back in place, so let's go on with the work. Introducing the new floodlight that I want to mount. You can also see there's a couple of waterproof washers lying next door. I'm also going to be using a self tapper screw because I'm going to mount it into the wooden balcony of the roof. And since the holes on the bracket is a bit big, I'm gonna have to use this, the washers just to keep it in place. Next up is our electrical cable. Now since I don't have enough cable, I found these two old extension cords that was lying in the garage. They are not working, so we are going to see if we can kind of fix the cable and utilize what we can. Hopefully I have enough cable to connect it to this point and to run it all the way down to the corner of the house. At this point, as you can see, I cut off the plug and I've taken off the head on the other side. And here is the cable that we are going to use now to extend. So let's do the same to the other one. My next step was to see if the spotlight actually works. Since I got the light for free, I need to test this light and make sure that it's working. Here we go, testing in 3, 2, 1, and it works, excellent. Next up is testing the cable, so I've put these connector blocks on here, and I'm going to connect this end now, to the end at the top. And then I'm also going to connect the other side to the light. If the light goes on, then obviously the cable is fine. If it doesn't, we know there's a fault on the cable. Okay, so I just did a rough connection, just so that we can test the light, to make sure that everything is working. Testing in 3, 2, 1, go. Nope, light doesn't work. That means we have to find a fault on the cable. After feeling along the cable, I found this little hole. So let's open it up and see if this is maybe where our problem is lying. 
Yeah, the brown wire is totally burned off inside the cable. I cut the wire in two and now I'm gonna do some real splicing work. If you don't have any more electrical connector blocks, then this is how you splice boys and girls. Real engineering quality right there. Now to use some insulation tape and close off all the cables so they don't touch each other causing a short or a fire. That's it, I'm quite pleased. All the cables are closed off nicely and I'm going to use another piece of insulation tape to close off the whole section. Well I guess it's time to test the light again. It's connected to the top, connected to the light and here we go. And it works! Awesome! Now we have to test the second extension. I decided to connect the second extension to the first one. So let us see if it works. Let's test it. There we go! This means both extensions are working. So the cable is ready to be closed off and to be cable managed onto the roof. So the first spotlight is up and I've already taken the cable and thrown it all over the roof supports down to the corner of the house. So now I'm just going to make everything neat and close off the connections. I've roughly adjusted the light to shine where I needed it to shine. And now that I'm happy with it, connections are made. Time to use some insulation tape and close everything off. And that's it, nice and neat. Now I'm just going to secure the rest of the cable all along the roof. I was looking for some saddles but I couldn't find any. So as you can see I used some insulation tape and I secured the cable all along the same line underneath the roof. So that it's nice and taut and it's out of the way of anything that can cause any kind of hazards or anything. I connected the cable to the, to the light and now it's time to test if it works. Luckily the two extensions was long enough so I didn't have any problems and it was just easy to mount it with another self tapper right on the wood like I did with the first one. As you guys can see the lights are working perfectly so all I need to do now is wait until dark to test whether the sensor is picking me up when I move past it and to see what kind of light I get. Ah, uh, the moment we've all been waiting for. Darkness. So, uh, shall we see what the lights look like? Let's just switch on the switch. Yeah, that's nice. It's almost where the old one used to shine anyway. And now look at all the nice lighting at the back. I'm quite happy with this. It's quite good. The front one I think needs a little bit more adjustment to shine more towards the gate. But at least you can see what's happening at front. I've got enough light here at the back that I can see. And here in the corner where there was nothing, it's also nice and visible. There we go. We have enough light on the front porch to see what you're doing at night and then you've got your lights at the back. Hold on, not too bad. Okay, so our last test will be to see when does the light pick me up, uh, when does it switch on, and if the motion sensor is working. Yeah, awesome. It switches on. Cool. So it'll pick you up as you go around the corner, which is uh, exactly what I wanted. So yeah. Okay guys, so we'll, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this and then uh, please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and um, subscribe to this channel and remember to hit the bell icon if you want to get notified of any of my further uploads like this. Until next time guys, cheers.